a year and a half into the closure of Dominica Coconut Products Limited. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has declared that operations of the company could recommence before the end of this year. Skerritt made this disclosure this week at Pebush during one of the many town hall meetings being held around the island since February. In November of 2015, the company held a meeting with its staff to inform them of its decision of the closure, which left approximately 90 employees jobless. As you know, as a result of Tropical Storm Erica, Colgate Palmolive took a decision to close down the CP. And within a couple of days of the decision taken by, DC, by Colgate Palmolive, I wrote a letter to them. And I said the government of Dominica will buy DCP from you. And we, were in, we, were, we had great intentions to buy, serious intentions to buy it back and recommence the manufacturing of soaps in Dominica. The Prime Minister also indicated that he was approached by a local business person with interest to take over DCP. But a local business person approached me and said, look, I am prepared to buy it myself. And we gave him priority because the truth is, I prefer it to be in the private sector than government owning it. And we are partnering with this local person to buy Colgate Palmolive. And he has concluded the negotiations with Colgate Palmolive to take over DCP. According to Skerritt, a local investor has concluded negotiations with Colgate Palmolive to take over DCP and the government will be giving the investor a loan to buy the company. And we'll be giving that investor in Dominica a loan of two million US dollars to buy Colgate Palmolive. And I met with him yesterday and he says to me from the moment they take over, they can recommence the manufacturing of soaps within six months. So we may very well see the recommencement of manufacturing activities at DCP before the end of 2017. Dominica Coconut Products Limited has been engaged in the production of raw oil and soap primarily for export. It is primarily involved in manufacturing and packaging soaps and other detergents such as laundry detergents, dishwashing detergents, toothpaste gels, and tooth powders. Its products were widely distributed throughout the country in cooperation with its partners and affiliated companies. In its efforts to develop the human resources,